Today's lesson will cover 17-4, Systems Without a Unique Solution. This lesson will be split into two separate sections. We will cover questions 1 to 3 and questions 4 to 6. Let's take a look at our learning targets. It says, 1. Explain when a system of linear equations has no solution. So explain, and we're going to put no solution. Second, explain when a system of linear equations has infinitely many solutions. So we're going to explain infinitely many solutions. On the previous slide, you should have seen the following information. The graph of a system of linear inequalities does not always result in a unique intersection point. Parallel lines have graphs that do not intersect. Coincident lines have graphs that intersect infinitely many times. Objects that are coincident lie in the same place. Coincident lines occupy the same location in the plane and pass through the same set of ordered pairs. It says a system of parallel lines has no solution. And I'm actually going to graph these two pictures for us. We have plus 2 and it's going to go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. Like so, I'm going to graph that little line with, I meant those dots, with a line that goes as such. Okay, then we got negative 2, goes down 2 over 1. We're going to go back like so, give myself a few more points on this line so I make sure. And notice that these two lines do not intersect. They do not touch. They do not meet up. A system of coincident lines have infinitely many solutions. Let's take a look. Here we've got this plus 2. We've done this before. We just did this one on the previous example right over there. So let's go ahead and draw this line. Okay, let's draw this line. Well, it's always easiest for me to put it in slope intercept form. But if I want, I can plug in values. If I plug in 0 for x, I would have. Zero as an input gives me six minus three y. That would be two as an output. Well, that points right here, right? And then if I try to find the zero, so I plug in zero for my y, this would go away and I got six x equals six and that's gonna be positive one. So one zero, that's located right here. If I connect the, my x and my y intercept with a line, I have the same exact line that I already had. So this is what it means to connect an infinitely many solutions. It's the same line all the way through. On a particular trip, Roy leaves from Pecos driving 55 miles an hour. After 20 minutes, Travis realizes Roy forgot two cases of peaches. In four minutes, Travis loads the cases on into his truck and heads out after Roy traveling 55 miles an hour. This system of equations represent each brother's distance, D, from Dallas, H hours after Roy leaves Pecos. Roy drives D equals 450 minus 55H. And Travis is D equals 450 minus 55H. H minus 0 0.4. It says graph the system of equations and describe the graph. So we're going to start at 450. 
He's traveling towards Dallas. So he's going 55 miles an hour. So let's kind of pace this out. Got 450 and he drives an hour. So he's gone 55 miles. We're at about 395. But he drives another hour. That's at about 340. All right, it looks something along these lines. Now, if I were to graph this one, I would need to do 450 minus 55H, and I need to see what 55 times 0.4 is which is 22, so that would be minus 22, 450 minus 22, oops, sorry, that's going to be plus 22, because a negative times a negative, would be 472 minus 55H. So this line right here represents Roy. Four fifty plus forty five. It's gonna be four ninety five. So we know he is about here, but again, he's traveling at that same speed. So he's gonna go down at the same rate. And this line is going to be Travis. So Roy is this line. 
Travis is this line. But notice that they're parallel, never intersecting. Let's take a look at number two. What information about Travis and Roy does this graph provide? Um, they are traveling the same speed. And will not meet until boy uh, until both are in Dallas. How many solutions exist to the system of equations and how is this shown in the graph? There are no solutions. And how is this shown? No points of intersection. All right, on to the next set of questions.